And here's a quick vid to show you how to make an awesome ice cool dust fan. Just with these 120 millimeter fans, a small radiator behind it, and a gallon jug filled with ice water. Alright, so real quick talk through here. You got your ice water in the gallon jug. You just flip the pump on that's in there. It shoots the ice water through the radiator. Fire up the fan. Freezing cold air. Check that out. 50 degrees. 10 Celsius, roughly. Alright, here's everything you need. Just choose your fans, AC or DC, pump AC or DC, and the radiator with the tubing. You just stand this up, slide the fan in front of it. That's all you gotta do. Fits perfect. Alright, here's the starting temp of the air, 83 degrees in the house. All right, now let's fire it up, see what kind of temps we can get out of this thing. Fill it about halfway full. Just leave a little bit of room at the top for the water. Just pick either one, push it on and drop it in. That's all you gotta do. Beautiful. The condensation on that radiator kind of says it all. That's your radiator temp right there. There's your ice temp. This thing is working great. Again, you got the DC option on the fan too. I'm using the AC one, it's just stronger. That's an Axial 1238. $13.99 on Amazon. Super powerful. And made specifically for tight spots and restrictive airflows like a radiator. I'm using a DC water pump in there. That's hooked up there to there. Just twist it on, right here. And the AC fan down to there. Freezing. Again, we're keeping this ice cold, so you gotta expect a little bit of that. To take care of that, you can just set this on a plate or a towel, or lots of ways, even a paper towel. It's not much water, really. All right, and again for the ice, just gallon jugs filled half full of water and frozen. Then we'll pull them out, fill them with the water, and drop in the pump. Preferably water from the fridge. That way you'll be starting with 40 degree water and the ice will melt a lot slower. Seventy one five. Still not bad, but it's getting warmer now. I've got like three of these containers in my freezer, so you can go two, four, six, seven, eight hours if you got two or three of them. That's not bad. Alright, here's a quick shot to show you some of the other things I've tried. Ice cubes, blue ice packs, small frozen bottles of water.
You need to start with cooler water and more ice. Fits perfect. All right, and there's the air temp with the blue ice pack in there. So again, air temp in the house, 81, 82. We're getting down to 67.5. Exactly where the ice cubes got it down to, so it's awesome. All right, and here it is with a small frozen, I think that's a 16 ounce or 20 ounce Powerade filled with water and frozen. Those smaller ones don't really work very good though. They don't last long. They work good, but they just don't last long is what I should say. So the way to go for sure, gallons. Half to three quarters full, freeze it, put as little as a pint of water on the top, drop the pump in, and you're good to go. A couple hours. Sixty-three-five. Again, just enough to cover the pump really is all you need. All right, round two. This type of gallon, dropped it in, you can see the pump right there. Super cold air again. Alright, let's do this. Let's fire it up again. You can see the speed of the water, it's fast. By the way, this is just like it looks. Absolutely freezing cold. And there it is. Back down around 50, upper 40s. Awesome. And again, the radiator. That couldn't be better. It's perfect. Right now the fan's on AC, pump's on DC, but you can do them both AC, both DC, whatever you want. By the way, the reason I'm not using a solar panel right now is the sun's just not out. Quick tip on this, just to make sure the return pipe doesn't want to pop out of there, twist them together. That way the pump would have to want to pop out of there too, and that's not going to happen. By the way, I left the pipes at like 5 foot length each. Just so if I wanted to, I could set the gallon a ways away, maybe on a side table, and then put this right on the desk or the main table where I want it. But we'll see. I may shorten that up to like a foot or two once I figure out exactly how I want to use this. All right, a couple things I do differently next time to make it even better. Freeze the entire block, like from here to here. So freeze it like three quarters full or even a little more. Because all you really need is that much space for the water. I had only frozen it like half full this time. So that'll get you maybe another 45 minutes or an hour. The other thing is that when you switch this out, when the ice is all gone but the water's still cold, grab your next gallon, your frozen gallon, bring it out and then use this water, a little bit of this water, dump it on top. That way the ice in, in each container will last a lot longer. If you use the tap water at like 80 degrees, it's going to cut into the ice too fast. One last thing I want to mention these AC 120 millimeter fans, sometimes online you hear they're like loud or something. They're not loud at all. It's one of the smoothest fans I got. It's like 10 times quieter than a box fan, and it's just like a smooth desk fan that's pushing tons of air. Here's just a quick shot to show you a full size one, like for the whole house. That'll be a future vid.